Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Alright, everything's proceeding fairly well. Precision lasers will be done in three days, so that should give me the ability to make a laser sniper rifle, which is going to be very nice. Tactical rigging will be done in four days, that's the thing that I thought I bought, but couldn't figure out why I didn't have it. And now I can see why. Because it's not instant, it takes four days. Or at least it does now, now there's four days left, I'm sure it probably took more when I first started it. So that is ongoing. Um, there's also a bunch of facilities being built, uh, or not a bunch, but one workshop is being built and I'm excavating two places for the future. Everybody is good, although I think I need to take some newbies out to train some, and unfortunately Izeli is gravely wounded for 16 days. So in the next mission I'm probably going to be taking Spectre out to get her some experience. And that's about it. I kind of want to save my money for now. So I think I'm just going to wait. Excellent. I was saying that to the excavation, not to the alien abduction. This is actually very unfortunate because I wanted to wait about one more minute so that the precision lasers would be done, but oh well. I guess we gotta go. Commander. We have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the Hologlobe. Another assault. Uh, do I need another assault? I did just have another assault die. I could use it, but honestly what I want most is just money. Plus Russia is the most panicked. So... Hmm. It's kind of risky, especially with I Isley out of commission. To do a very difficult mission. Do I want to take the risk? I don't. I honestly, I don't. I'm sorry, Russia, but I don't. Let's get an assault. Let's go with the lowest difficulty one. I've lost... I've just lost too many troopers lately. I feel conservative. I feel like I want to be conservative right now. Until I get the tactical rigging and get my precision lasers and Isley's back. Yeah. Okay. Going with my mechs, obviously. And, of course, I need you, I need Arrow, and I need Graves for my support and my assault. Um, I should train a newbie. What are you? You're Sergeant. I think I should do Spectre. Or I could do a completely new person. No, no, we're gonna we're gonna get a new person for doing this. So no, there's no need. Let's take Spectre out for some some more experience. Spectre, what are you? You are. Oh man, you need a lot of experience. She's only a squatty. All right, let's give you some stuff. Carapace armor, of course. No new weapon for you, unfortunately. Pistol's fine. Um, I almost want to give her a scope. But... Two hit points. Um... What does this do again? 10 aim? Yeah. 10 aim. I'm gonna keep her alive. I'm gonna go with the nanofiber vest. Cause she doesn't have very much hit points at this point. Yeah, she's too weak. Alright, you've got the weapon, you've got the weapon. Yep, you've got that. I feel like there's something I'm missing. What am I missing? Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. Yes, someone needs an arc thrower. That's what I'm missing. 
We need to capture some freaking some freaking aliens. And the best time to do that is probably on a mission that is low difficulty, as this one is. It's not literally low, but it's medium, which is relatively low. Without a doubt, the best person for the Arc Thrower would be Arrow, because she has mimetic skin. So I am going to give it to you. And we're good to go. Let's go capture some aliens. This is gonna be good. For deployment, strike one. We're heading into China for the next operation. The aliens are continuing to target civilians for abduction in several major cities across the globe. We have to get down there and deploy as soon as possible. No way! We have to deploy? I wanted to just sit up in the sky and watch. It's so entertaining. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. All right. We appear to be in a graveyard, and it is pissing rain. That's not a good omen. I actually forgot to pay attention to what the name of this mission is, but it's probably something horrible. Like, Bleeding Hero. Right. Well, there's absolutely no reason not to just sprint her up since she has mimetic skin, so go scouting! Bingo! There's one. God, I love mimetic skin. It is so good! It is unbelievably good. Alright, let's... Ah, oh, see... See, if, if Spectra had Squad Sight, I could put her up here and she'd be perfectly fine. That, that would be great. She would have a height advantage, she could see, like, the entire place. And everything would be peachy, but she doesn't. Which means, over here, she wouldn't be able to shoot anything. That sucks so much. And thankfully, now I know I can sprint people, because... She's over here, and Arrow would have seen something if there were any enemies nearby, so I'm good to sprint. That is the advantage of having mimetic skin. It allows you to scout ahead, which is incredibly valuable. Of course, the enemies could just have a patrol route that brings them into view, in which case it would have been smart to not sprint and instead use Overwatch to take some shots at them, but still, it'll probably be fine. Probably. Maybe. Hopefully. John Cotton Candy Smith. Going. See, like that. They come into view next turn, goddammit. Uh. Okay, well, frankly, if, if six of our people can't take out two floaters with four hit points each in half cover, then something's wrong, so... We should be fine. In fact, could I destroy both of their cover? <laughs> I could destroy both of their covers. That's probably the way to go. What kind of shots do I have? 60%? 76. Oh, I could even maybe capture... Okay, hold on. Here's, here's what we're gonna do. Let's see. Alright, you are gonna blow up their cover and greatly hurt them. Or... 
greatly hurt one. That's fine. And you are going to capture it because the more hurt the enemy is, the greater the chance that the stun will actually take effect. So now that it is hurt, I should have a very good chance. We're going to get ourselves an alien. 80% chance, I'll take it. <laughs> Beautiful. Now I just need to kill one. Okay, let's try to get Spectre some experience here. Do a headshot. Come on, come on. Earn your stripes. Earn your stripes. Promotion? No promotion? Come on, that was an MLG shot. Alright, fine. I guess no promotion. Can anyone grab this this turn? No. That's alright, we'll grab it next turn. Of course, we do have one of our troops, Arrow, which who is not standing in any cover, which is very dangerous, but everything's fine. Okay. Let's do some scouting, shall we? Let's move up to here. There's the other one, and we have eight turns. We're good. Looks like there were no enemies inside. Because the arrow passed right by the doorway and I didn't see anything. Alright, do you need to reload because I used all of your freaking ammo? I, I really need to get the... Whatever the hell it's called. Whatever uses the Muton corpses. I think it's in the foundry. The one that gives you, ex like, just... The ability to store more ammo. I really, really need that. For my mechs of nothing else. They just burn through ammo so quick. I really want to give Spectre a chance to get some kills here. I really want her to get Squat Sight. Because a sniper without Squat Sight is practically useless. Let's spread out a bit here, getting some full cover. Systems engaged. Your move, aliens. Okay, they're on the other side of the map. At least one group is. That doesn't that doesn't necessarily mean that's the only place they're at. Oh, perfect. Okay then. I guess they are just only on the other side of the map. Move up too close. Move up to here. You can move so far, Moose. It would be really funny. Is if Moose just, like, stepped over the graves as he ran and just, like, broke the tombstones, the headstones. Just smashes through them, disrespecting all of the bodies. That would be kind of cool. Such a dick move, but kind of cool.
Ah, they just get you in the fight. Where? You're not going to be able to shoot anything from here because you don't have squad side, so I need to get you up. Hate to put her in half cover, but she'll be fine. They'll shoot up my mechs before they shoot at Spectre. Alright, snab this. And it's time to collect some intel. Let's go here. There we go. Oh shit, it's a cyber disc. That, my friends, is a freaking cyber disc. It is exactly what it sounds like. It is a disc that is cyber. It is very powerful. It has horrible lasers. Also, I believe that thing next to it is, um, what's it called? It's a, I think it's called a drone. Uh, I think it heals it. So you really want to kill the drone, or it's going to like heal it and maybe buff it even. I'm not even sure if it can do that. Okay, my heavy has heat, I think, right? Yeah, heat ammo. Which gives plus 50% damage against robotic enemies, so that is going to come into play. You're my only heavy, right? Yeah, you're my only heavy. And you have a rocket. Actually, can you shoot a rocket there? You could! It says it does 6 damage, but because of the 50% increase, it would actually do um, 9. Which would be quite nice. I could also attempt to stun a cyber... Wait a minute, can you... Can you use an arc thrower on a robotic enemy? No, you can't interrogate a robotic enemy. Right? I don't think so. I don't think you can. Okay. Let's say I blow it up. It's going to do 9 damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 hit points left. 7. Can I kill it this turn? That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Okay. This might, maybe, would be kind of stupid. Ah, shit. I, I want to get him in here. So that he can punch it next turn. But I don't want it to be discovered. And if he goes this way, he's definitely going to discover it. In which case, it's going to get a, it's going to get a chance to move. See, because it doesn't know I'm here yet. So I can relocate my troops to a good position. I should just blow it up, though. It's not worth messing with, is it? Then again, we are in a good position. But I can't... Duh. Decisions, man. Decisions. Alright, I could take a crappy shot at it if I move him here, probably. Who else can even shoot? Like, no one else can even really get a shot off. No, I'm going to relocate my troops. Yeah, I'm going to relocate my troops. For this turn. I'm not going to go after it this turn. And you, I will move a little bit closer. 
Alright, go there. Oh, fuck! That was a bad idea! This is a medium difficulty one? We are not touching that cyber disc. Nope! We are not touching that cyber disc. I am gonna run away and let that thing come towards me. Fuck me. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. A medium difficulty map with a cyber disc and a whatever that is. What is that? I don't even know what that is. It's nasty. I did not expect that. I thought that was the last enemy on the map. It's not. Shit. I kind of want to smoke him. Should I smoke him? To protect him? That thing's going to get two shots off on him. I think I should smoke him. All right, well, let's, let's just move you up. Heading to that location. I'm assuming this thing is going to come after us. I'm not going to go after it there because it's too close to the cyber disk. I'll fight it inside of this thing. Inside of this location here, I guess. So, let's move you up here. I hope that Cyberdisc doesn't move inside of here. I mean, they tend to rove between turns. We'll see. Oh, right, I need line of sight. But that's okay, that's okay, I'll just move up. I guess you can't throw smoke grenades through walls. Who'd have thought? Here we go, I can get... Can I get all of... Oh, I think I can... Can I get everyone? I can get three. I'm not sure if I can get four. Come on, I think I saw it. Nah, alright, I'll go for three. And... Overwatch. Okay. What's going to happen here? Well, oh my god, that thing is terrifying looking. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hi. Oh my god, that thing can move. But it, it didn't shoot. Is it going to shoot? Please don't mind meld with it. Please don't mind meld with it. Please don't. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. This, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. Wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Does that thing get a bonus to defense because it's in the smoke cloud as well? Fuck, I think it does. There's no way that'd only be a 42% chance if it didn't, right? Okay, well, I can punch it. Wait, but that thing's on overwatch. Shit. If I move, it's gonna shoot me. Look at that thing. That thing is terrifying. Ah. Oh. Can I kill two of the units? I want to see if I can get that sectoid in there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, that's, that's totally worth it. It is going to kill two units and do major damage to the cyber disc. I'm going to take it. Hurrah! Come on, come on, come on. Don't miss. Don't miss. Okay. Cyberdisc is severely hurt, and two other enemies are taken off the battlefield. Now what? 
Did I take it out of Overwatch? I mean, it doesn't look fancy anymore, it doesn't have all of its weapons displayed. But I can't imagine simply blowing it up would have taken it out of Overwatch. Hmm. And right, you can probably what? 1% <laughs> chance to hit. That's, that's great. What do you have? You have so many different abilities, I forgot. Hmm. 10% critical ch hit chance per enemy in sight. Um, forces the first reaction shot against this unit each turn to miss, so I can run right up to the cyber disc and not worry about it. And I can do rapid fire. I can guarantee the cyber disc's death. Right? So I don't even need to worry about the cyber disc. Right? All right, let's take a let's take let's take that freaking cyber disc out, huh? Come on, try and shoot me. I dare you. Try it. Oh, lightning reflexes. Fuck you. And then do you know what's coming? Rapid fire. Goodbye. Beautiful. Ouch. Did did that hurt her? That looked that looked painful. No, she's fine. Okay, how many people do I have to deal with you, you monster bullet sink? I could punch you. For what? 12 damage? 12 damage. So that would take you down to... 5, 6, 7, 8. You'd be down to 8 health. Can I do 8 points of damage to you? I can't even really hit you because unfortunately you're protected. Can I do 8 points of damage to you? Uh, Spectre, you can't do anything at all. Let's, let's move you up here. So maybe you can do something next turn. Maybe. So I would need to be able to do 8 points of damage with these two people. Flamethrower would do 6. Does it apply to cybernetic? To machines? Can you burn machines? I suppose you probably can. Up to six damage. The chance of being able to kill it after punching it is pretty unlikely. Gotta be honest, it's not likely. I'm gonna... Alright, but I'm gonna do it. I mean, really, what's, what's my other options? Run away? I mean, Kinetic Strike is what you're made for. So, let's do it. Kaboom! Hmm, I just made a kind of critical error. Because I wanted to use the flamethrower, but now I've moved my unit right into the cone where it's gonna... Yeah, that was kind of bad. Okay. 42%. Um. Hmm. I guess I'll take it. Maybe it'll crit. Or maybe it'll miss. Right. I'm just going to get myself in there. Get some more bullet sinks into the battlefield. 39%, that's shit. At least I'm... I mean, we're all inside of the smoke, so... There is a chance it could miss.
Hmm. Spills to one extra tile at Cone's Edge. That, that's way too dangerous. That is way too dangerous. No. I'm just gonna take the shot. Oh, nice. Unfortunately, it's still alive. Okay. Come on, let me have it, let me have it. <laughs> oh god, you're incompetent. Uh... Did you see? Holy shit! Arrow has one hit point. I... You, you shot Arrow over the mech that is standing right next to you? Well, she's gonna be gravely wounded, although thankfully I think she has... Does she have the thing? Where is it? The... Oh no, she doesn't have the thing that gives her super healing, does she? No. Hmm. Shit. Well, that's not good. Okay. I'm just going to punch you. Goodbye. Another day, another successful operation. Okay, lesson learned. Just because you see a massive cyber disk, don't assume that there's no other massive enemies there as well. That could have gone horribly wrong. That was only a medium one. But that was damn difficult. And I almost lost Arrow. One hit point. She's gonna be so gravely wounded. I need I need to buy the upgrades that give you faster squad healing time, because I'm oh god, 18 days. Uh, well, at least you got a promotion. John Con Candy Smith is now a captain. Let's see, what was I gonna go with? Oh, yes. Um, I went with repair servos for my other mech, right? So I was going to go with this for you because you're ranged. Whereas the other one focuses on melee. Additional uses of restorative mist, grenade launcher, proximity mine launcher, and increases primary weapon base ammo by 50%. Yes, I'm going to take that. Extra conditioning. Converse bonus... Converse bonus health based on which type of armor is equipped. Heavier armor increases the bonus. Hmm. I wish that gave me more info, but... It sounds nice. Need to know exactly what it does, though. But this could really be a turning point in our research. Not only can we interrogate the subject, but bringing an alien back alive provides us with a much better understanding of their physiology. Impressive work, indeed. Preparations in the containment facility are well underway. Oh, look at this. Wow. I can do a cyber disc autopsy, a drone autopsy. I can interrogate the floater. I can research a light plasma rifle. I have unlocked the ability to do a bunch of stuff. And I have a new assault trooper. Fei Chen. Remember, we will be watching. Okay, uh... Let's... Oh, panic in Russia. Oh, you'll be fine, Russia. Calm down. Let's wait for the precision lasers to finish, because that should be practically instant. There we go. Laser sniper rifle and scatter. Oh, precision lasers allow you allows you to get the uh, the shotgun laser as well. That's what the scatter laser is, I think. Mm-hmm. Wow, I didn't think precision. When I, when I think of precision lasers, I don't think of laser shotguns, but apparently it does unlock it. Sweet. Okay, autopsy, autopsy, autopsy. And the interrogation. All this stuff is going to be super quick, so let's just do the interrogation first.
Honestly, that doesn't look so much like an interrogation, as it kind of looks... It looks less like interrogation and more like a torture chamber. But, oh well. Alright, let's... Uh, let's equip my troops and then see how much money I have left over. So what do I need exactly? I need one sniper. Yeah, I should just need one sniper. And then... I think just one shotgun should do. Because I think I'm only going to have one assault and one sniper at one time. So let's go do that. Scatter laser. And laser sniper rifle. 69 bucks. Alright, I want to get the... I don't think I have enough money, but I want to get upgrades that make my troops heal faster. As lead by example, but no. Rapid recovery is what I want. I also want Iron Will, because I think that's something that might affect me in the future. When you start getting Psy troops, or the ability to have Psy troops, which relies on your will. And also... Every time your troops take damage, or every time they, they get wounded, it hurts their will. So, they're kind of being worn down every time they get hurt, which is kind of frequently. Seems like almost every mission someone's hurt. So, I do want that. But I definitely want rapid recovery first. But, I can't afford it. So, time to wait. Tactical rigging, hell yeah. Okay. That allows my troops to hold two, right? Two items? Yes. Okay, so I need to give my people extra stuff. What am I going to give them? More health? A grenade? Do I want them all to have scopes? Give everybody an aim bonus of 10? Honestly, that sounds very nice. If everybody had an, a bonus 10 to aim, that, that's pretty powerful. Or I could give them all a bonus 2 health. Decisions. I don't really care about grenades. Not with how many explosives I have. Like, between the flamethrower and the, the rocket, I, I just don't feel like I need grenades. I feel like giving everyone scopes would be better. What else could I buy? What's the scope cost? 12. <laughs> it's, it's so freaking cheap. It's dirt cheap. Um, I, I don't want to give you all arc throwers. That's stupid. There's a weird respirator implant, which does make it so you can't be strangled, but that doesn't happen very often. And getting poisoned also doesn't happen very often. I don't really care about grenades. I don't even have enough corpses to really get some of them either. I could go with a flashbang, but... I do want to see how good they are, but I don't know. I mean, it does seem basically like it's a suppression that can take effect on an entire room instead of just one enemy, which sounds valuable, but it's probably unlikely to affect very many enemies, though. Because I'm guessing it's just a bubble. Its area of effect is probably just a bubble, just like the grenade. And it's probably not all that big. I think I'm just going to buy some scopes. How many do I need? I have one. I have two mech troops, so that should leave... Three? Yeah, let's go three. Right? I can be four, five, yeah. And interrogation will be done in just a second. So, how'd it go, 
Doctor. Better than expected. Before the creature expired, I was able to extract some new information from it. You're saying that thing spoke to you? Not precisely. But when you have access to a creature's brain, certain patterns can be discerned, recent images and thoughts. And what exactly was our late friend thinking about? This particular image appeared in the creature's thought pattern several times throughout the procedure. We've already met that thing, Doctor. This is hardly the kind of breakthrough we were... And there was a neural link in the creature's mind between this image and this one. That's the thing that pulled a disappearing act when we shot down our first UFO. And let me guess, you want to poke around in its head, too. It is the next piece of the puzzle. And this time, instead of shooting it, I suggest we try to capture it alive. I'll do my best. Capture an outsider alien. Basic armor technology, research credit earned. I'm not altogether sure what that means. Let's do the autopsies. Yeah, because they're super quick. We've yet to recover one of these in functional condition from the field. The men seem to enjoy using them for target practice. At the present time, we know that the cyber disc, as they've been calling it, is heavily armed, but it shows no clear pattern of behavior on the battlefield. I think its behavior of pattern is to shoot stuff with lasers and be terrifying. At least that's what I've seen so far. Anything else to do? I don't think so, just keep waiting. UFO tracking boost and <laughs> secondary heart available in Gene Lab. Wow, I need to know what that does. Okay, UFO tracking, that's, let me guess, a uh, consumable? Immediate temporary boost to our unit's pursuit speed? Mm-hmm. Okay, it's another consumable. Okay. Cause the soldiers to bleed out instead of dying the first time they go to zero health in a mission. The bleed out timer is extended by two turns. Prevents loss of will from critical wounds. Ooh! Ooh! That sounds good, but how expensive is it? Because if it costs a shit ton, it's going to be prohibitively expensive because I'm going to want it on every single troop. That means I could... Su it also prevents loss of will from critical wounds, which means I could suicide... Like, I could take Arrow. Get her up close and personal to enemies and basically suicide her and she'll be okay if we can get to her in time. That That is playing with fire though. Alright, drone autopsy. This unit appears to be a drone, which is similar to the military drones we are familiar with. This particular example seems to have the ability to repair damaged equipment. Dr. Shen and I believe it should be possible to capture and repurpose these for our own use in the field. Alright, I want to see what that costs. Alright, secondary heart. Um, it actually doesn't cost all that much meld. It's quite a bit of money, though. That'd be pretty awesome. The thing is, though, that's that's like insurance. You're essentially buying insurance. It doesn't actually improve your 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 your, your soldiers' abilities to fight. It just improves their chance of not dying. So it does nothing for combat effectiveness. Anyway, I'm I'm too poor to possibly afford that right now. So that's not even a real consideration. Hmm. 
Alright, well, I'm still poor, so... I'm just gonna keep waiting. Additional workshop online. Excellent. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. You know, I totally forgot what the workshop does. What does it do? More engineers, of course. And plus 10% refund on resources when you use when... Okay. In times of war, there's always a leader, a general, someone giving the orders. These aliens can be no different. The real question is, what sort of power or authority does it take to control such a vast range of alien species? What incentive would they have to follow through with this plan? Dr. Volan's interrogation technique certainly is... efficient. You'd never know it by looking at her, but that woman is an alien's worst nightmare. Okay, I might regret this, but I seem to have a ton of flight computers. So, I'm going to sell one. So that I have enough money to start building a satellite uplink. Yeah, I, I want to get that ball rolling. And let's wait. Man, I'm just knocking these autopsies out. One after another. Drone capture project available. Sentinel drone project available. Hmm. Drone capture. We're confident that our arc throwers could be upgraded to allow the capture of enemy drones, giving us control of the flying drones for the remainder of the combat mission. That sounds terrible. When would you ever get close enough to use that? Like, yeah, I'm just going to ignore the cyberdisc to capture a little drone that has, what, three or four hit points? Uh, no. Sentinel drone, we've been... At oh, it's to sh shiv. That's just a stupid shiv project. I don't care about that thing. Mectoid autopsy. We were only able to recover the suit's central core, although the pilot's corpse also survived intact. The armor itself is quite interesting. The design is highly responsive while still providing extraordinary strength. You know, I'm really worried about the next mission we're going to get because I'm down Arrow and Isley. Who are some of my best. Some of my absolute best. It's not good. I really don't want to take another very difficult mission. But those are exactly the ones I should be taking. Because they have the best rewards. And the best panic reduction. So I hate to pass them up, but... We're just down too many good people to do it. Oh god. You do not want to use lose the US because they're giving me a ton of money. What is this? Exalt agitation has increased panic. The exalt cell is exposed for now, but we'll go into hiding. Okay, what's going on with this? Oh, is it time for another... Is it time for another operation? Oh, because it's exposed. Okay. Man, people are panicking. It's not in Asia. That's the only thing I know. That doesn't narrow it down that much. It gets rid of four, but... Hmm. I don't have anyone with mimetic skin. At least we've got some vets on our side. It takes a serious pair to go face to face with one of those things. I, I really don't want to send someone without mimetic skin. I really don't want to send one of my other troops. Either. Okay, hold on. No offense, Fei Chen, but you're new, so I'm I'm gonna send you on the mission. Then again, you're my only assault. Ah, oh, shit. I'm receiving you. Return to base for debriefing. Um. Ah. <sighs> 
I almost want to send a newbie. But then we might fail the mission. This is hard. Can I send a mech trooper? No, you can't send a mech trooper on a covert operation. Who would have thought? Hmm. 12 days until Arrow's back. We're going to have another mission before then. No doubt. I really want my assault here. I want an assault. I all we heard about were flying saucers. The aliens certainly have come a long way. I really want to make sure I have an assault for the next mission, so I'm going to send Blunda. You'll be fine. Maybe. What should I give you? I'm going to give you a vest. Yes, you're, you're going to be able to protect yourself with a vest and then heal yourself when you inevitably get shot. That sounds good. Okay. Good luck, Blenda. Hey, the good thing is you're going alone, so that means I can't accidentally blow you up. So just look at it that way. That's a plus. Covert operative deployed to disrupt this is itself. Central. I'm receiving you. What do you mean you think you saw a snake? What the hell does that have to do with anything? <laughs> what the fuck? Central, I hate you. P please just go away. No one likes you. Request from the UK. Uh, three engineers for two scopes. That... is an extremely good deal, I think. Only I don't have any money. I mean, I have enough scopes to give it to them, but... It's essentially three engineers for 24 monies. Which is great, because you only get five for a workshop, and a workshop costs what? It costs 130. But I won't have enough scopes. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Here's what I'm gonna do. So they're gonna take two. And I'm going to sell some more stuff. What do I not need? I need 24. 24 monies. In total, not, not in addition. Let's, um, let's go some sectoid corpses. Yeah, I've got plenty of these. Throw one of each, that'll take me to 26, and I'll be fine. It'll, it'll be fine. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Huh? the cost went down thanks to the engineers. And we're good. We have we have four monies right now. Talk about a lack of capital. Advanced servo motors. Ooh, that sounds like it's for the mechs. Shaped armor project. These have got to be mech things. All right, this is the advanced servo motors. After a thorough examination, we've been able to replicate the replicate the articulated joints of the mechtoid, allowing for mobility improvements in both our cyber suits and shiv units. I need to check these things out, even though I can't afford them. Shaped armor. The invaders' mechanized cyber suits are, of course, somewhat more advanced than our own. By examining the interfaces between the armored shells and the cores, we can improve our overall armor design. This has the potential to increase tactical survivability for all of our mechanized forces. Tactical survivability. In other words, health. I'm pretty sure that's what tactical survivability means. Hit points. Hmm. 
Well, let's go for the alien nav computer. I've had this here for far too long. We should finally do it. Now, let's check the foundry. Oh, God. So much stuff. Three hundred. Hmm, it doesn't actually say what it does exactly. As in, it doesn't tell you how much is going to improve the health, or exactly what how much is going to improve mobility. Which is unfortunate, but I'm sure it's worth it. Let's keep waiting. Fuck. Very difficult. So my best troops are out right now. I'm not comfortable taking this. I'm not comfortable taking this with... With both Isley and Arrow out. I think this is almost certain death. No. 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 It's too much danger. I, I could wipe my entire squad. No. Well, there goes Mexico. And panic has risen across North America. That is not good. Fuck. And great Canada. How's it going, guys? How you doing? Okay. This is why I'm building more satellites. I think I made the right call, regardless. A very difficult mission when two of your best troops are wounded. Just, no. <sighs> Here goes the covert operation. The covert operative extraction thing. Here we go. Alright, it's the same as before, I think. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. Okay. You need to be customized and upgraded. So let me get my list of names here. Let's see what we have to work with. Okay. Let's say I did Blunda, I did Malmus. Okay. The next Viewer name from the randomized list is... Is Ochner. I'm spelling that correctly, am I not? A-W-K-N-E-R, yes. Faye Ochner. Let's make you awesome. I like your mustache. It looks terrible. Which is great. Okay, for once, I'll go with a normally colored, normally hair colored person. Which, it's not something I normally do, but what the hell. Ooh, I like that mustache even more. Beautiful. Let's go with that. There you go, you look kind of cool. A badass with a shotgun and a ridiculous mustache. Wait a minute. I forgot one thing. There you go. Shooting aliens in the face. Casual style. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Okay, wow, you... You are very high. In skill. Defense, critical hit chance. I think I'm gonna go for this again. First standard shot, made within four tiles of the target, does not cost an action. Cannot combine with running gun.
When would you want to use that? I, I think this is one I agonized over before, and I'm trying to remember why. Okay, so... The first standard shot does not cost an action. So... If you moved and used one movement point, you could then do this and then make two shots. But you can just do the same with run and gun. So... I mean, you could, do, you could do run and gun, and then do... And then do rapid fire. Which is basically the same thing as getting two shots. And it allows you to move further. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with lightning reflexes again. That flush could be useful. Causes enemies to run out of cover. But then again, I can just use I can just use my mechs to blow up cover. So now I'm gonna go with rapid fire. Okay. Um. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Close Combat Specialist again, and I'm gonna go with Mimetic Skin for him as well, just like Arrow. Again, I don't know exactly how Close Combat Specialist works. But if it works how I think it might, then I think this would allow you to get two shots off on enemies that are undiscovered when you have Mimetic Skin. We'll see. But, I'm hoping. Carapace Armor, let's give you this beautiful sca scatter laser. Let's check the damage. This is going to be beautiful. Okay. Effective range, short, 3-5, 20%, 6-8. 20%, short. Let me write this down because I'm going to forget it. Short, 3-5, 20%, This does medium range, 5-7 to seven damage, same critical hit chance, and the critical damage is 9-11. to 11. Okay, so, right, it's a uh, much larger range, and the base damage is... Two more, and the critical damage is three more. Three more on the low end, two more on the high end. Yeah, that is just way, 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 way better. And plus, it just looks awesome. Can't deny that. And... I guess we could capture them. Yeah. Why not? I'm not sure... I'm not really sure an Assault Trooper really needs a scope. They're so up close and personal, it kind of seems... a bit ridiculous to need a better chance to hit, but I mean, it never hurts. Is either that or two more hit points. You already have eight plus four. You already have twelve hit points. Which is pretty good. Never hurts to have more, though. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the best. Right. So stuff. I need to give I need to give stuff to people. Th things to people. You are about to get a beautiful new sniper rifle, Spectre. Let's see. Long 3 to 5, 25, 6 to 8. Long 3 to 5, 25, 6 to 8. It is a shit ton better. That is so much better. And you get a scope, as well as a nanofiber vest. You get a... A scope? <laughs> I don't know what the hell just happened there. 
That looked weird. And you also get a scope. Okay, we're good. Right? Laser, 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 yeah. Yeah, we, we finally ditched all of the standard weapons. Now everybody has upgraded weapons. Excellent. And everybody's gonna have damn good aim. Touching down. We're moving to eliminate an exalt cell currently operating within the United States. We'll need to protect our assets in this area in order to secure the necessary intel. Operation Hidden Serpent. was in position to transmit the data they'd acquired when Exalt forces moved into their AO. The encoder is currently shielding our transmitter's position, but if Exalt manages to hack the encoder, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. If they hack both, any hope we had of recovering the data intact will be lost. We have a new objective. Okay, wait, what? I, I thought... That, I was assuming this was going to be the same mission as before, but it's actually, it's actually different. Protect the capture area. Okay. Eliminate all the forces. Block their hack attempts by occupying the capture zone. And the covert operative can disrupt exalt comma rays. Okay, but what's the point of disrupting their comma rays? I don't I don't exactly get it. More information. The, 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 this is small ground to big sky. Tell me what to do. All right. Uh secure it in 3 turns, I guess. Secure the transmitter. In 2? Why is there a lock icon? I'm confused. I, I don't know what all this means. Hmm. I do know I need to move my people up, so I guess I should just do that. Ah, it's a shame no one has memetic skin. Right, well, um, you're my guinea pig, Blunda. Let's see what this does. It looks like Exalt deployed a series of communications relays in the area. If our operative can get close enough and access the relay using the encryption keys they acquired from Exalt's data, they should be able to temporarily disrupt the enemy's comm network. Okay, but what's the point of that? <laughs> what does temporarily disrupting the... I, I don't know, let's just do it. Enemy communications are down. That should keep Exalt busy for a while. So does that stop them from sending in their troops for a turn or two? I have no idea. Hey, Marta. Ah, if only you had squad sight. But you don't, so I'm going to keep you on the ground. Let's move you up. Because you need to... You need to get squad side very soon, so I want you to get some kills. You have a pistol, so why don't you just hunker down? As far as I'm concerned, you basically have no combat effectiveness whatsoever. My goal is only to protect you. Order 
Okay, apparently they did nothing but but shout random things on the radio. No wonder they're so impotent. They can't even talk properly. Right, so I need to get into here. I'm not really sure why. Protect the... I think I'm just supposed to stop them from getting here. Block their hack attempts by occupying the capture zone. Hmm. Do I just need, like, one person? Inside? Well, here you go. This, this is your job. Go do something. You're the operative. Do I need, like, everyone inside, or...? Can I hack it? I, I don't know how this is supposed to work. This is very strange. Oh shit. Commander, Exalt forces are in position to hack the encoder. If we don't secure that equipment, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. Okay. This just got bad. My first reaction is rocket. But that's once again not going to kill them, is it? And it can't even go far enough. I'd have to blow up my own person. No. That's not going to happen. Right, you're basically dead next turn. Unless I can do something. Can I? That's the question. Can I? I can't get close enough to use the flamethrower. Spectre, you're a sniper. What can you kill? Okay, here we go. Okay, who? Squatty Spectre has earned a promotion, well deserved for that shot. Okay, that makes Blunda's chance of surviving much higher, although you're still being flanked, so that's bad. Now, I can destroy your armor. What's my chance of hitting? I don't even have any targets. Well, I might as well move you up at least. If nothing else, I might as well move you up. Maybe it'll sink some damage into you. That is a terrible chance to hit. Let's go ahead and blow up your cover. Goodbye. Oh, I forgot about that. You blow up the car and it does damage. That worked so much better than I thought it would have. Okay, that leaves one. We can deal with this. We can deal with one. Right? Maybe? No one can even see him. You're telling me you can't see him. Really? Well, we're gonna have to fix that, aren't we? Preparing to fire. Can you see him now? Actually, he's he's still in cover.
You need to be on the front lines, but you're in the back. <sighs> Should I sprint him up? That's all half cover. That's crap. Alright, go here. You have a shot? No. And go here. Gotta move her up. And what is this thing? Is that the thing I'm trying to protect? I don't even know how this is supposed to work, but I'm assuming if I kill all of the exalt, everything will work out. I think that's a safe assumption. Alright, you're probably gonna shoot at Blunda. <laughs> Once again, oh shit. They sound incompetent, but there's oh fuck. There's there's a lot of them. There's oh god. So many Oh, it didn't even take a shot. You are all fucking dead. Hold on, can I do something with this? No. Okay. Um you need to get the hell out of there. Get your ass in full cover. Hack this thing. It'll take some time for them to get it running again. I'm probably gonna end up hunkering you down just to protect you, but I might use your smoke. We'll see what happens. What the fuck? Oh, I guess they're hacking it. <laughs> Whatever. Three turns? Like, they're not going to be dead in three turns. I really want to flame them. I don't know if I can reach them all, though. What if I use Jet Boot Module? Would that allow me to get further? I don't think it would. Why would it? No. Let's try to reach them. Let's say hello. Let's let's say hi to a couple of them. A nice little friendly, uh, a, a nice warm get together. Very warm, you know. I think they'll appreciate that. <laughs> yes, you are. I could punch you with Kinetic Strike, but you only have one hit point, so that'd be kind of stupid. Unfortunately, you have no ammo, of course. Thirty percent. Thirty percent. Sixty-seven. I would like to capture one of them. I can't possibly do that here. No. That's not gonna work. Okay, I need to get you into the game, so I'm going to move you up here. Because you have a shotgun and you're useless back here. So, what does that leave? Right, I'm just going to put you up behind something. And then reload. Right. If I do this, am I going to blow up the thing I need? I see a green thing is being highlighted. I, I don't know how this works. That's too dangerous to risk. And I would only kill one of their troops anyway, so it's kind of pointless.
right. I'm gonna move up. Even though I'm going to half cover. Actually, wait, I've got a flank. Oh, I have a flank! I didn't know that'd be a flank. I was gonna suppress you, but I'll take it. Sweet! Slow motion death. I think you're gonna earn another promotion. One left. It's not a bad chance to hit. It's not gonna kill it though, unless it's a crit. 36%, that's terrible. Just hunker down. Alright, that's actually not a bad chance to hit. I'm gonna take it. You shot the front of a truck. You shot the front of the truck instead of the Exalt Agent. That was not very smart. Did you seriously just... Commander, we've got multiple hostiles inbound on Strike One's position. Enemy reinforcements are closing in. Did this Exalt... What the fuck? Is that because Grave shot the front of the tr I don't even know, it just happened, but it killed one of them, so that's okay, even though it did hurt me too. I was gonna say, did this Exalt Trooper just walk out, run out into the freaking open, in no cover, and do nothing? How can you be so dumb? You are stupid. Also, the hacky thing appears to be on fire, which doesn't seem good, but... There's nothing I can do about that. Right. What do we have? Four troops? Wait, wasn't there another one? There's one there, but that was part of the old group. That's the, one of the new ones. There's at least one more of the new ones. Also, you might be able to capture one of these fuckers. But honestly, it's far safer just to kill it. Alright, I have a lot of options here. So many that it's actually really hard to pick. I kinda wanna destroy your cover. Because that would kill you. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Because this is gonna kill you. Goodbye. That is beautiful. And you have pretty much a guaranteed... Well, it's not a guaranteed kill, it's a guaranteed hit. Practically, but... Let's just do this. It, 100% chance. Goodbye. <laughs> this is a critical two. No ammunition remaining. I think I'm just gonna leave Spectre there. She's doing a good job. Let's get some Overwatch. You know, let's get you over here. Let's do this. Let's hack these things, even though I don't really know what that's doing. But it sounds like it's doing something good, probably. Okay, I know there's another one over here, so where are you? I thought there was another one here. I could have sworn there was another Exalt Trooper. I guess not. Let's just overwatch. Alright, I want you to get in full cover. Much better position. There's that automatic repair. 
Stupid Exalt. That should throw him off. It will take Exalt's people some time to get their communications back up and running. And look at that. I can just get to over here. Perfect. Alright, let's get ourselves into full cover. And get reloaded, get some Overwatch going. I know someone needs to reload, I think my mechs do. Or one of my mechs, both of my mechs have no ammo. That's affirmative. So let's get one mech on one side of the map and the other on the other. Reload. And you're good there. Yeah, reload. You're pretty good on ammo, so overwatch. And overwatch. And overwatch. And overwatch. If they come, they're dead. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. Oh hi! Do you like overwatch? I heard you like overwatch. Well, I put some overwatch in your overwatch so you could fucking die! Oh, do you want some Overwatch too? I look, there's enough Overwatch for everybody. Everybody can have Overwatch. Overwatch? Oh, you you want some Overwatch too? Oh, everybody wants over. Oh, there's another Overwatch. He just popped down onto the hood of that truck and then just took a laser shot to the face. That's gotta hurt. I could use my jet boot module to get up right next to him and punch him in the face, but he only has two hit points, so that's kinda dumb. Okay, I would really like to try to capture one of these. Can I... where are they? Enemy communications are down. That should keep Exalt busy for a while. I don't even remember where they were. Where are the other ones? I don't know. I know I killed one of them. Wasn't there another one, though? I thought there was. Alright, is that all the stuff to hack? I think that's all of the comma rays. Yeah, I think so. Alright, why don't you just go protect that? Whatever that thing is. It's got a green arrow on it, so I'm assuming that's a good thing. As much as I want to do that... It would take up half of your ammo, which means you'll no longer be able to use collateral damage. So, and I do want Spectre to get more experience. So, why don't you take the shot, Spectre? <laughs> Maybe she'll get two promotions in one map. I thought there was another one. Just Overwatch. And Overwatch. Then... Overwatch. You, I want to move a little bit. Oh, there you are, and there you're gone. Where were you? I don't know. If, if it if it pokes its head up, if he pokes his head up, he's gonna die. Cause I have more Overwatch than you could possibly ever need. And now you're back up to full. Take your turn, buddy. Pop your head out. Oh, hi! Hi! There's the first Overwatch, where's the others? Oh, there's another one! There's the second Overwatch, where's the others? Every step he's getting an Overwatch. <laughs> there's the third, or fourth one? Third or fourth. Where's the next one? Oh, there's another one! Hi! 
Oh my god, my people can't aim worth a damn. I think there's one more Overwatch left. Nope. He didn't go quite far enough out to get this dude's Overwatch. Ah, unfortunately she's out of ammo. Okay, let me see if I can capture you. I actually can make a good attempt at it. Here we go. Ah, ah. Oh, shit. Forces are willing to resort to such extreme measures to avoid being taken alive? They'd rather kill themselves than be taken. Achievement unlocked, pain in the neck. Interesting. They must believe very strongly in their cause if they're willing to do that. Let's just do some reloading. You know what I'm going to do. I am going to put you up here, and you are going to be an Overwatch turret on top of a truck. And you can just punk her down. Let's get some reloads in here. And the reload. Oh, sweet! Oh, you think you're gonna be able to flank me by coming at me from three different angles? <laughs> you fools. Oh, you think you think you can stop me with four, huh? Oh, Overwatch. I'm scared of your Overwatch. I'm trembling in my boots. How shall I do this? Well, I could punch your face off. That'd be fun. Guaranteed death. But it'd be better to do it to you, because you're the one that's in the most cover. Whereas you can be killed by many people. Hmm. How shall I do this? Hold on, let me plan this out. You kill you, you kill you, yes, and that leaves me four people to deal with two. I'm trying to think of how to do this in the best, most fun and awesome way. Okay, I got it. Right. So this is the first one I, I need to deal with. Oops, no, 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 no. Nope. Stop doing that. Well, this is one of the key ones I need to deal with. With this mech up here to punch him. Because he's in full cover. And is hidden from most units, so this mech is perfect for taking out that one. So, you're occupied there. But if I move you first, this guy's going to get an overwatch shot off. Which doesn't really matter, because he'll be able to take it like a boss, no matter what. But, there is a more efficient way to do this without taking any damage whatsoever. You. You have lightning reflexes, which guarantees that the first reaction shot will miss. So, run and gun. This guarantees you take no damage. Already there. <laughs> it's gonna miss. Slow motion. So, that nullifies his overwatch, and you are dead. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay. Enemy number one of four. Next one. Enemy number 
two of four. <laughs> okay. Now how do I do these? Well, I want Spectre to get more experience, so you get the first you get first dibs, and you're that's the only one you can see, so take the shot. Spectre, I am impressed. You're gonna get squat sight in no time at all. Okay, three units with which to deal with one. I know how to deal with this. Moving. I've got it. I've got it. Sure. Goodbye. With fire. That's it, Commander. The transmitter <laughs> is secure, and it looks like that was the last of Exalt's forces in the area. Excellent work. That was a really fun mission. It, it really wasn't challenging at all, but it was fun. It was a fun way to farm XP, basically. Our troops really came through on this one. I'm glad everyone made it back safely. Not a single point of damage. Overdrive. Firing the mech's primary weapon as the first action no longer ends the turn. Holy crap, you can take two shots. You can take two shots. That's the same as bullet... Bullet... What is it? Bullet storm? Bullet swarm? Same thing. Two shots. Unfortunately, they're honestly at the moment, the mech's main weapon is actually one of the least useful things they have. It's their special abilities that are the best. Their main weapon is frighteningly inaccurate. Okay. Squad sight. Thank God, yes. Now finally, you are actually a decent sniper. Superior healing metal. What is this? Oh, this is the... Right. Been promoted. Excellent. Suppression and revive. Hmm. Do I want two medics? I kinda do. Is the support suppression any different from... The suppression that the heavies have? The heavies do have suppression, don't they? I'm not exactly sure. I want a backup medic just in case something happens to Graves. Nothing's gonna happen to you, Graves, don't worry. But if it does, I want another medic. Excellent. Unfortunately, most of these artifacts are crap, aside from the intelligence. All these... As far as I know, all these exalt rifles and stuff are only worth selling for one credit each. I mean, they're bad weapons. Intel decrypted. Possible exalt base locations narrowed. Hmm? Narrowed how? The Exalt base is not in one of the two Cold War superpowers. Okay, that gets rid of the United States and Russia. Ah, Mexico. Mexico pulled their funding. Well, Mexico, next time a UFO lands in your country... ...and aliens start shooting all of your citizens, I guess I can't help you. Because you're not funding us. I think the engineering team is getting antsy. They might be more excited about the new weapons than our troops are. <laughs> is there anything I wanted to do right now? Now that I have a little bit of money. I'm not sure. I'll think about it and do it in the next episode. For now, I'm going to end this episode here. So, I hope everyone has enjoyed so far and I will be back soon.